In today's video I'm going to finish off building a lean-to shelter. If you have to stay in the same place for several days, it can become necessary to build a more conventional BVAC shelter. A conventional BVAC takes longer time to build and requires a larger work effort than a typical emergency shelter. When building a BVAC you should choose a place which is readily visible or very well hidden depending on whether you want to be found or not and you should have easy access to both firewood and water without having to move too far away from the laid up position. When choosing the location of the shelter, keep in mind that the soil must be dry. Conifers on the ground are usually a one sure sign of this. Sandy, rocky ground with a thin plant cover is usually the best place. During the day this type of ground collects solar heat that is reproduced well into the night. Avoid places with moss, especially where you have admixture of sphagnum. This indicates that the groundwater reaches the surface and the place can get wet and cold and collect dew underneath that night. The same applies to low-lying bogs and places which the sun cannot heat up, such as northern facing slopes. I started out putting up the base frame for the lean-to, the crossbeam being at chest height. I recommend it to be between 1.5 meters to chest height. Next was laying up the poles for the roof. I first tried a shortcut, leaving the branches on the poles the plan was to braid them in afterwards, however I discovered this wasn't as easy as I first thought and I would probably need a lot more branches and twigs to cover up the shelter if I left the branches there. So I decided to remove them so that I could braid them in properly afterwards. Lesson learned, there are no shortcuts in building a proper shelter. I see on YouTube people building lean-to uses a lot of poles to cover up the roof and making it look nice. All respect to them, it takes a lot of work and time to make, and a lot of poles. Finding a good place to build a lean-to without having to cut down too many trees, I recommend spreading the poles out, leaving a gap of approximately 30 centimeters between them. Best is if you have a plastic cover or top to use as a roof, it makes it a lot easier to get the shelter rainproof. I do not believe most people carry a big hand saw with them in the woods, but a folding saw or pocket saw does not take too much space and is easy to carry with you in your backpack. Of course, the smaller the saw, the more work it is to cut down poles for the roof. I used birch twigs and braided them in between the roof poles horizontally making a mesh. Then started braiding the sprouts twigs and juniper vertical to complete the roof structure. Braid it in so tightly that you cannot see through the shelter when finished. Then reinforce with twigs, debris and moss. In winter you can shovel up snow as additional isolation. I used the same method on the sides of the shelter. For the lean-to to be a good protection against rain and let in a lot of heat from the fireplace, I recommend the roof to have a slope of at least 45 degrees. In winter time, you can consider raising the angle to 70 to 80 degrees to get maximum heat reflection from the fireplace. However, the risk then is that snow can more easily blow into the shelter, keeping you cold and miserable. A good tip is to place a log in front of the covers to create a barrier so you don't get your feet or equipment too close to the fire. To utilize the radiant heat from the fire, you could use a rock wall, a boulder, a firewood pile or a snow wall as heating mirror, or build a fire reflector wall as I did. It should be about 1 meters from the fireplace, some say a fire reflector doesn't work, but by experience it at least gives some added protection from the wind.
At the end of the day, some tips and experience gained. Don't neglect the construction of your bivouac shelter. There are no shortcuts in building a good shelter. Day is not night, meaning when the sun disappears, the temperature will drop. A good bivouac should protect from the cold, protect from rain, protect from wind. You should isolate your bed from the ground and always be discreet. Train yourself. Building a shelter is a fun activity and gives you vital experience should there ever be a situation where you need to utilize these skills in real life. It takes about three to five hours to build a lean-to, depending on the size and access to building material. The shelter should not be directly underneath any cliffs, falling rocks or dead limbs which could fall on you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and press subscribe. Your support makes it more fun for me to go out there and make more videos. Take care.